Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So this is episode one of my new solo survival create series. I'm so excited. So this is episode one and I've already got all of this gear. How did that happen? So I created an episode zero stream. That's right. So that means I streamed the beginning of this world and I was able to get all of these amazing items so we didn't bore you with episode one. So we could just jump straight in with episode one and not have to gather all the tools and the materials and just start making create stuff. So you'll notice over here, I already started creating some create stuff because we got a whole lot of iron from climbing a mountain and I needed to smelt it all. So seeing as this is episode one, in this episode, I'm gonna go ahead and create a create mod workshop. And in this workshop, I'm going to go ahead and create all of the contraptions that I need in order to build all the farms, build all the buildings and to play the create mod the correct way. OK, so let's jump into it. So this episode, I said that I want to build a workshop and I've already designed something and I want to put the workshop in this area over here facing the sun. And there's all of this new possibilities that I have. OK, so I need to clear some trees. And uh, let's get building. Oh, there's one of the donkeys. Hi, donkeys. Okay, I'll get a saddle for you soon. I need to still go look for a saddle. Okay, that will be another thing on the agenda. Oh, speaking of agenda, this is a little bulletin board that I made. And over here, these are the things that we need to get going in, I suppose, the early game. So the first thing is create workshop. And then in order for me to do any of the create stuff, I'm going to need more iron because at the end of the day you can either use iron or zinc to make andesite and iron is much easier to get than zinc so uh, let's just make an iron farm and then after we've done the iron farm maybe in the same video i'll make an andesite farm so these two can technically go together to make andesite alloy and then at the end of the day we always need food i managed to get a small farm going over here so I've got enough potatoes. So this is my little cooking station over here. So I'll swap the lava out with the, the campfire. I can cook food. And if I need to smelt something, I put the lava here and we sort it. And oh, my minis have grown. Oh, that's so cool. All right. So this is my little food area. So I think for now, this will be okay. But in the future, we'll definitely need to upgrade it. And this little villager, aka Gary, I need to find a name tag to name you. He's looking to trade cabbages. And I don't have any cabbage. So I'm going to have to find some cabbage for this dude. So that we can keep doing the trades. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, clear out this area behind me. Do the resource gathering that I need to do in order to build the house. And uh, we need to build a schematic cannon. That's right. I've already built the workshop and I'm ready to go. I just need all the blocks. So I'm going to go ahead, gather all of those resources and bring you back in when it's time. Okay, so now that this whole area is clear, let's make a schematic cannon. A schematic cannon. Okay, so you need two blocks of iron, two blocks of wood, some smooth stone and a dispenser. Two blocks of iron, sorted. So let's go ahead and put our stone over here. Okay, so we've got stone and then we need to let it go again and then we get smooth stone. Okay, I picked the stone up and I'm going to place it again. I wonder if it needed to be taken out of the lava and put back in to know that I want to cook it again. Let's see. It did. That's all it needed. Okay, so if you want to make smooth stone, you have to cook it two times. Okay, we need a bow and some redstone. I don't have any redstone. I'm going to have to go mining. Oh my goodness. I don't like sleeping out in this wilderness. I need to build a house and I need to build it soon. Okay, let's go mining for that redstone. So I've been working on this little mine over here. This goes all the way down and it is deep. Okay, let's go. I don't think there's any redstone in here. I think I need to go deeper. Okay, I think I'm going to have to go deeper to get redstone. So I'm just going to start digging down from here. This looks like deep slate. And I know you can find redstone in deep state level. So I'll bring you guys back in once I've got 
some redstone or something cool. Okay, I found an opening into a big cave. Oh, oh, there's redstone. Okay, so if this is my cave opening, I have, I think, one more use on this pick. Six. I have six more uses on this pick. There's a piece of redstone there, and there's a PC over there. I have no more torches. There's uh, hohos in this cave, and I don't know what to do. So I'm gonna go for it. Okay. I am gonna make a run for it. Ooh, spider. No, 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 no. Yeah, there's gold. Okay, I'm gonna make a run for it. Let's get that redstone. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, so now that we know where everything is, we will definitely be coming back. Oh my goodness. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <gasps> There's a diamond. Okay, we'll get you just now. We're not going to get you now. Okay, let's go in and let's go back up. I need this lapis, but I think I did get lapis already, so I can make a schematic plan. I just need a feather, so we're going to have to find a chicken. Chicken. And then we are sorted. So this is actually my way up. Technically, this would be the way up. We're going to make it before we start dying. Ooh, with one bubble left. Okay. Let's go ahead and make our dispenser. Okay. Dispenser. We have everything in our inventory. Let's go ahead. Okay. So we got the dispenser. We got the iron. We got that. And we needed wood. I think we're good to go. Okay. Let's make a cannon. Okay, and there we go. We've got the schematic cannon. Sorted. All right, so this can be, can go over there. So this cannon is going to go ahead and it's going to be building my entire build for me. So now we just need to tell the cannon what to build. And we do that by having a schematic. The schematic is a piece of paper that we put into the cannon's GUR. And the cannon will also draw blocks from storage containers around it. So like a backpack or a barrel or... A, and it will use a schematic once you've placed it and you orientate it the way that you want it. The schematic cannon goes ahead and builds it for you. It's so cool. I'll show you how to do it. Okay, but first we need the schematic. So let's go ahead and get some sugar cane. So we need sugar cane to make paper. Three sugar cane, you're going to get a piece of paper. So in order to make the schematic, we need a piece of paper and some light blue dye. So all we're going to do is we've got light, we've got blue dye. We take bone, we make dye, we make white dye. There we go. And we add light white dye and blue dye gives us light blue dye. And with the light blue dye, we can go ahead and make an empty schematic. Now with the empty schematic, in order to set a design onto the schematic, we need to make a schematic table. Yeah, I've got some trapdoors, I've got some slabs, and let's go ahead and craft a schematic table. Brilliant! Okay, so I'm going to pop the table just over here, and we click on it, and then we see what we want. So if we had multiple designs in here, so I only have one, because I've just started this world. But if we had multiples, you would use your wheel on your mouse, and you just scroll down until you find the one that you're looking for. So we're looking for the workshop build. We go ahead and we place the empty schematic in this space. You can also shift click. And you press the tick. It's busy writing the plan. And there we go. You've now officially got the plan. So we go over here. And this is where I want it to go. And I can place it. So this is the building. This is how it looks. So at this point in time, it's just a rendering of the drawing. So you can walk right through it. It's not really here. But you need to be able to place it in the correct spot. Okay, so we need to place it in the correct spot because I wanted it further back over here. If you read at the bottom of the screen, it says hold left alt to focus. So hold left alt to focus. And we want to move it. So we can choose which we want, which one we want to do. And if we want to be able to push it, we need to hold control. So we hold control and then we can bring it forwards or backwards using the wheel on the mouse. So I think I wanted to fit in this little gap right here because that's the way I've designed it. Holding control. Here we go. Perfect. 
So if I wanted it to go up and down, so this is the exact spot that I want my, my build. I think it's going to be beautiful just in this spot. But if I wanted it to say, for example, go up and down or left and right, left and right means that I could have just come this way, hold down the control and pushed it this way. And if I wanted it vertically to go up and down, holding alt, you can say you want it to go on the Y axis and then you move it up and down. Easy. So if it's in the floor like that, here we go. Now it's vertically the correct position, horizontally the correct position. And if we didn't like it this way, say for example, we now decided, you know what, we did like it facing the savannah. We wanted to face the desert. We wanted to face this way now. I'm going to use the alt button. Go over here and we're going to say rotate. Click control. And there we go. The front door is now facing the desert and we can move it in any direction that we want. Now it's facing the desert, we have happy. But I definitely wanted to face this way because I thought this was way more inviting. So you get up in the morning, walk out of your house and you're like, oh, possibilities. <laughs> so that's the idea I had. I see now that the floor is telling me that these two trees need to go. So I'm going to remove them before I start the schematic cannon and uh, I'll show you the next steps. So if you want this render to disappear and it's irritating you because now I want to cut those trees down and I want to make sure that I'm getting everything, you push F and it's gone. There we go. Okay, there we go. So this is gone. I wanted to keep this big tree. So that was part of the design that I kept in. And I think I kept this tree as well. I'm not sure. But this whole area is opened up and all we need to do now, click on the base. We put the schematic over here. So this is the schematic. The cannon now knows what you want to build. There are a whole lot of other settings. I'll go through those now. And in order for the, the cannon to actually do anything and shoot, it needs gunpowder. So I've been collecting gunpowder. Okay. We put the gunpowder in this top slot. And you'll see over here, it's consumed a whole lot. And it says it's got almost 2,000 shots with seven pieces of gunpowder that I put in. Okay, so this checklist over here, let's go ahead and make the checklist. It's so cool. Okay, we need a clipboard. So we need all of those things for a clipboard. Luckily, I have a piece of andesite alloy. I still have a paper and I still have wood. No, I don't have wood. Okay, let's make a piece of wood. There we go. Okay, now we can make the clipboard. Here we go. There's a recipe and it's made. All right, so... What this clipboard does is it's so super cool. We put the clipboard, so I'm going to shift click the clipboard in. What the clipboard does is it reads the schematic. It reads all of the items. So the materials checklist and of that build that we just saw the render of. These are all of the blocks that I need to get. And this is the quantity of each. How cool is that? So all I need to do is go around in the world. All I need to do is go around the world, collect all the items and put it into some barrels oh let's go get some barrels okay so i'm going to pop a barrel on this side and i'm going to pop it on this side as long as they are touching the cannon it will read the items out of the barrel it's that easy okay so once i've filled the barrels up with the stuff i shift click the materials list back in it's going to read what's in the barrels and it's going to tell me what i've collected so far and what i still need to collect so over here we can see that i have placed in some acacia logs so I needed two acacia logs, already done. I need 30 cobblestone, that's already done because these are the items that I've placed in here. We still need to get all of these items. So until we do, they're going to remain unchecked. But the items that have been collected will be highlighted green and checked. Easy as that. So let's go ahead and collect the rest of the stuff. I'll bring it back in when I'm done. While I'm going ahead and gathering all the materials, I'm going to have a quick chat to you. So I'm leaving the trapdoor here because it helps if I walk past or if, you know, the donkeys or something walk past you, they're not going to get burned. And we close it again and the fire stops. There we go. Okay, so in order to make the mixer, we need to make a whisk. There we go. Whisk and make the whole contraption and we're done. And I've already got the press. So I'm just going to go over here, grab the press and we're good to go. So let's chuck everything into the barrels and let's see what else we need. Okay, I think I'm ready. Let's go have a look. Okay, and basin we're going to make. Depot we have in our hand. Cane case fan we have. Mechanical mixer we have. Mechanical press we have. 
the rest we have water wheels we have and the rest are green let's go ahead and build okay so we are going to have to replace solid with any because some blocks like glass don't count as a solid block so we're going to make sure that we have that item turned on and over here we're going to protect block entities and we're going to skip missing blocks so the machine isn't going to stop if any of these items which are in my inventory aren't in the barrels over here so we still wanted to go ahead and just carry on building okay and play the build is all done let's finish it up okay so while this building is busy going we can put the water wheels in in the meantime so this water wheel is going to go over here okay and then the other spot is going to be over here for the encased fan so let's just pop it over here and then we've got this water wheel is going to run this way and we're going to put water in and it's just going to run down is this blowing yes it's blowing okay and then over here we're going to have one is going to be water, one is going to be lava. So let's put lava at the back, just in case. So I've got the fences keeping the lava up. And then we've got our trapdoor stories so if we want to turn on and essentially turned off. I just need to make another encased fan. So they're quite expensive. But now that I'm going to have all my systems in place, I can go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to put this in place for now. And there we go. That's all. We oh, it needs water here. Um, okay, I've got water. And then this one is going to go. Here we go. Okay, so all of this is working so nicely. So we need to just make one more encased fan in that spot. And then this is the inside. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, so with this part, this is where we're going to go ahead and we're going to place all of these fun things. It's a good idea that we have a depot underneath the mechanical press. So there we go. Mechanical press is in place and we need to have a cog wheel so you see how this has a cog on the side that cog has to be put over there oh no it's overstressed oh i need another wheel okay i did i broke it in when i was testing and then this is the basin scenario okay we're gonna put that over there put that over there there we go it's all going now okay let's show you around so inside here we've got our bong station which is just the press this is the mixing station and then we've got space for other workbenches and everything else that we may need. This over here is my little storage area. So I just wanted to have like a little storage cubby hole. This is not meant to be long-term storage. But as we progress in the game, I will be creating a storage room. This is just for now. And then if we go up here, I made a little upstairs area. This will kind of just be like a little mini bedroom. I'm tired of sleeping outside at night. It's not safe. I'm scared. And it kind of overlooks the workshop, so it's quite cute. And this is the whole outside design. I think it came out so cute. So I wanted to use I wanted to use resources that we have in the area. So we've got the desert. So I've got sandstone. 
we've got the savanna so i've got some acacia and in the savanna we found the mud pool so i've got some mud and i think the white windows just make it look a little bit neater with the darker materials and obviously stone stone is abundant it's all around us and then deep slate with our recent adventures down into deep slate i was able to get deep slate and uh, i was thinking of using maybe some of the terracotta for a roof but i was just worried that it would be too warm or too orange or whatever it is and i think the acacia wood the jungle and the mud i think they go together quite nicely okay so let me know in the comments below do you like the little workshop it's a cute little workshop it will do for now and we'll get the job done okay so i'm gonna go ahead and decorate everything and i'll bring you back in when it's done okay so i've decorated my little workshop and i'm excited to show you let's go take a look and here it is oh it looks so cute up here we've got some steps leading us into this area i've got a little umbrella this is all the wool i had on me so this umbrella is tiny and awkward but at least it gives me enough shade to sit underneath here and enjoy some sandwiches while i look at my little house and then i've got a mod on here called the cluttered mod so a friend of mine told me about the cluttered mod thanks william and using the cluttered mod i was able to make all of these cute little decorations so this is a heart-shaped garland that goes on the top here this is from the let's do brewery i think that's as as well this is the let's do bakery mod this is the mccall's furniture mod so all of these things are different mods that i have on the world and over here i managed to make another encased fan using all of my cool stuff inside and this is a little tip and a trick i can give you mobs won't walk over carpets and they won't be able to fit because of these trap doors which are so beautifully hidden with my heart shaped garlands and then inside here yeah, i've just decorated made more storage and then on the side here yeah, we've got a cluttered bookshelf so for right now i don't have any ideas of what to put over here so just thought it would be really cool if this is like the workshop plans or some books or some ideas on how to do other things and then uh, we've got the carpenter's table over here this is the rest of the storage stuff from my side and that's a, that's a let's do winery barrel so i just wanted a different looking barrel this isn't a storage barrel this is to make wine but uh, that'll come in another video i've already started moving things over so all of these drawers are nice and cool they've got some cool stuff in them and all of these things are completely working my little housey has come together so nicely okay let's show you upstairs so upstairs here we have a very well lit staircase because of this beautiful chandelier which is a decorative block mod and then if we have a look at the bedroom i've got a little table and a lamp next to my bed this is also part of the cluttered look so this table is quite cute and uh yeah i found this so when we have a disc we can play some music so some music in the room i added some lanterns everywhere just to brighten everything up and then on the side here, yeah, if we want to be sitting on our little patio, drinking something in our mug, it's all very well lit. Everything looks so cute. I'm so thrilled with how this workshop turned out. And that is it. As the sun sets on episode one, I have to say goodbye and I will see you next week. If you enjoyed my video, please let me know in the comments below. I read every single comment and uh, I would love it if you subscribed because that will let me know that you love this kind of content and you're looking forward to episode two. I will see you all next week. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye, everyone.